Hello and welcome guys this is Peter here and this is a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft vanilla server for 1.10.2. Ok so to get started you will want to download the server launcher which is on minecraft.net. Then hit download, and find where it says play with your friends. Then click set up your own Minecraft server and this will start the download. You can go to the link in the description and download the server launcher. You will then want to get the correct Java to launch the Minecraft server which is called Java Runtime Environment and will be the second link in the description. Then run and complete the installation for Java. Ok, so we will now want to create a folder anywhere on our computer. I will be doing it on my desktop to make things easy. The folder is called Minecraft Server but can be called anything. You want to drag and drop the Minecraft launcher file we downloaded into the folder we just created. Then you want to double click the file and it will launch but it will have errors. Next go into the file called EULA and edit with notepad and change where it says false to true and save. You can also make a batch file by creating a notepad document in the folder we are in and then go to where we downloaded the Minecraft server launcher. Then copy the code on the page and paste it into the notepad. Then you will need to click save as and click the drop down and change to all files. Then save the file as star.bat and delete the old notepad file. Now we can start the server by clicking either the star.bat file or the Minecraft server launcher. This time I'm going to show you opening it with the star.bat. We do the same thing and double click the file. But in the we need to change the name of the Minecraft server so it's the same as the start code we pasted in the star.bat. It may take a very long time so I am going to fast forward this process until we see progress. Ok so it is now starting to generate the files we need in the folder. You can see files and folders in the background being generated. If this windows firewall pops up I always check the box for private networks. Now we have to wait until it has generated the world which sometimes takes 2 or 3 minutes so I'm going to fast forward here too. My computer is not the best so I get more errors than you might get. Then we can stop the server by typing stop on the console. Never click the X because that will close without saving the files and you can lose everything you have worked on. Ok so you can also launch the server by clicking the server launcher. Once again we need to wait for it to start so I will fast forward this process. I do like this way a bit more because it seems to be faster and it has some better features than using the command prompt. Ok so the server is now up and running so to connect to the server you need to launch Minecraft. Then go to multiplayer and click add server or direct connect. For the IP you want to type localhost with no spaces. Then you can join the server. My computer is very slow so it takes me a while and crashes quite a few times so I will fast forward past all of that until I am connected. Ok so I will show you the main two command you will want to know. Firstly to op yourself you need to go to the launcher slash console and type slash op then your username. Just so you know you can now op people from in game as long as you are op yourself. And then you can type slash game mode 1 and be in creative. If you would like to know more commands and or how to edit all the files and permissions please see my next video by clicking the annotation and it will be in the description.